Welcome again. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, so welcome. And then uh, uh, let's get started. Is it, is it online now? Let me check. Yeah, okay, it's online. So yeah, sorry, I have to re to recheck several times here. So make sure everything's okay. Um, yeah, it looks everything okay. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, uh, welcome uh, to GLC Networks webinar. And today we'll be talking about the, uh, why is it like this? Um, yeah, so hopefully you can uh, see what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, so today we'll be talking about the uh, layer seven firewall, yeah. Oh, it's, uh, I got a new interface for Zoom here. Uh, looks like they are updating the interface. Okay, where's the button? Um, yeah, okay, never mind. Should be okay by then. Yeah, so again, sorry, <laughs> sorry for that. So today we'll be talking about the layer seven firewall. And uh, my name is Ahmad Mardiansha, and uh, we'll be talking about the prerequisite knowledge, uh, the firewall, of course, uh, the layer seven firewall, uh, some uh, tips and tricks to do a layer seven firewall on Mikrotik. Okay, uh, guys, uh, I'll be turning off my cameras in order to save the bandwidth, and then I would like you to do the same. Okay, so in order to save the bandwidth, because uh, yeah, sometimes in some places, uh, um, yeah, uh, sorry, yeah, uh, 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 activating the video requires uh, uh, more bandwidth compared to uh, uh, only screen share and then uh, sharing the voice only. Okay, so here it is the uh, agenda. Uh, yeah, everything about firewall. <laughs> and, oops, I cannot move. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, just introduction. Okay, we are GLC, Gadalitas Cakrawala. I'm from, uh, yeah, uh, we are based in Bandung, Indonesia. Our areas are training in IT consulting. Uh, we are doing uh, microtech uh, networking. Uh, Linux and then some programming. We also do, we also have a reduce manager. And then uh, we also have regular events like we are doing now. Uh, my name is Ahmed Bardiansha. I'm based in Bandung. I'm Linux user since 1999. So a Microtech user, a Ubiquiti user, Linux user, a Python user, a PHP user, a PostgreSQL user, MySQL user, <laughs> and then lots of uh, other users. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, doing training. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm delivering uh, trainings uh, related to those technologies. And uh, if you have a LinkedIn, and then we can connect. Uh, past experience, we had project in uh, overseas, uh, most uh, mostly related to uh, networking. Yeah, yeah, uh, and and networking and then system uh, administration. Um, what else? Um, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we, we had project in uh, Malaysia, in uh, in Australia, in uh, Europe, in uh, what is it, uh, in UK, uh, in Africa, and in, in Asia. I, I, I never I would have experience uh, in uh, American, uh, America, uh, 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 country, American country. Uh, yeah, so maybe in the future, I don't know. So yeah, uh, most likely uh, we are doing uh, networking stuff. So networking is our DNA here. <laughs> Oops, next. Uh, about GLC webinar, we started in 2010. 
uh, for various topics, uh, mostly related to uh, networking, uh, system administration, and then programming. So if you want to be one of the presenter, uh, we had that uh, in the few weeks ago. Yeah, uh, we had another um, other, uh, webinar from, uh, from you guys. Yes, yes. So feel free, uh, join our webinar uh, as a presenter, no worries. Okay. Uh, this is just a place for sharing. Okay, and then uh, thank you very much for introducing yourself, right? Uh, thank you. Uh, most likely people are from Indonesia. Yes, of course. <laughs> um, people from Thailand. Okay, from Nepal, Thailand, uh, Indonesia again, Philippines, Indonesia, Indonesia, Pakistan, and oh, wow, uh, one from New Zealand, NZ. Yeah, yeah, okay, oh, okay, must be very late in uh, New Zealand, okay. Uh, thank you very much for coming, okay. So hopefully uh, we can uh, uh, discuss more about these layer seven, right. right. Uh, thank you, thank you again uh, for coming. So prerequisite knowledge, yeah. So we assume you uh, understand these uh, prerequisite knowledge before, okay. So for example, seven OC layer, uh, actually this is not at beginner level, uh, this is advanced level. So before that, we assume you, you already know uh, seven OC layer, uh, understand how encapsulation works, uh, understand uh, how microtech device uh, is managed, okay? At least you, come on, you, you guys are microtech users, right? Uh, I assume you already know Microtik devices before you coming here, okay? So if you guys still wondering what, what the Microtik is, uh, please uh, do Googling something about it, uh, Googling on YouTube <laughs> to, to understand what the Microtik is, <laughs> right? Okay, so next is, of course, Microtik firewall. At least you have an experience with uh, uh, creating uh, rules on uh, filter, NAT, or mangle, or row. Okay, and of course this one, okay. So this one is very, very important. Okay, I put some checks here, many checks, uh, regular expressions, okay. For those who are understanding programming, uh, this is one of the things that you need to know, okay. For filtering something, for example, for checking whether an email that you type is in correct format, okay. Is there uh, in, on email, is the content this, uh, um, oh, sorry is uh, contains uh, this sign okay yeah so uh, that's the proposed for regex okay regular expression uh yeah okay so first is we talk about the seven oc layers and protocol so as we know uh, when we talk about networking uh, we have we have uh, OC, a concept of OC layer. Actually, uh, it is a implementation, it's a stack, okay? The, the way technology is is implemented in the, in the software level, okay? So basically uh, these, these things, application layer, blah, 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 layer, uh, actually it's just the implementation of a software, right? And then uh, we put those layers into this uh, stack Okay, so uh, start from physical layer, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation and application. Each layer has its own function. So by putting all function into one layer and then we can uh, manage, uh, easily manage our network. Okay, so, uh, and then also if there is a change on one layer, for example, there is a lot of change on layer two here. If there is new technologies coming, and then other layers would not be affected. They are still okay, okay. Yeah, so that's the purpose of how we, uh, why we, we, we design our uh, networking. Um, uh, um, yeah, we design our networking, uh, uh, sorry, uh, communication uh, in, in a layered manner. So uh, beginning, in the beginning, uh, we use uh, uh, four uh, layers actually. Uh, so we have a application layer, transport layer, internet and network interface, okay? So uh, this is the uh, stack of TCP IP. So it's one implementation of uh, computer networking. It was done in late 70s. 
uh, yeah, this is the one that we are using up to today. But when we are referring to the models, the reference model, we are referring to OC7, uh, OC layer model. Uh, and then, uh, is there any other implementations other than uh, TCP IP? Yes, yes, there is, there is. Uh, we have uh, CLNS, C CNLS, CLNS, I forgot the name, uh, something related to that. Uh, we have uh, Apple Talk, Apple has own their own uh, uh, stack, and then uh, we have uh, other stacks as well. But uh, uh, based on history, the one that uh, wins, uh, the competition actually it's not the competitions uh, accepted worldwide is the tcp ip stack why because it's open okay so that's uh, the, the 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 layers and then the encapsulation process so uh, when we do encapsulation uh, encapsulation is done when we are sending a data we start from the data from the upper layers and then uh, go to a transport layer here Okay, we add the header, and then we add another header for a, a, a network layer. Uh, this is IP header or layer three header. So the output for uh, adding a, a header, uh, is called a PDU, packet uh, protocol data unit. And if it's layer four, it's called segment or datagram. It's layer if it is layer three, it's called a, 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 a bleh, uh, <laughs> sorry, a packets, yeah. In, in layer two, we call it frame. So uh, if uh, uh, when the when the packet uh, receive uh, arrive at the destination and then the the, the, the process is called decapsulation uh, as simple as that. Okay, uh, so as you know, this is uh, uh, when we look into the details about the things on the header. Okay, so this is uh, which one is TCP? I guess you already know. So this is TCP, this is UDP, okay. Uh, TCP has, uh, is a more complex, uh, more complex uh, parameters. You have a destination port, a source port, a sequence number, and so on and so forth. We don't talk much about that. So we assume you, you already know that, okay. And then this is layer three header, either on top is layer four, uh, the bottom is layer, uh, a lot layer four, I forgot, IPv4, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, there, there are lots of things on my mind. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, at the bottom here is the is the uh, what is it? Uh, IPv6. Okay, IPv4 and IPv6. And then here is the layer two header. Okay, uh, for Ethernet technologies. And then if you are using Wi-Fi, this is going to be the uh, the header. Okay, so this is the data from upper layer. Okay. You have a trailer here, and then this is the header. Okay, so header, because in layer two, uh, you have uh, two uh, additional data on in the, in the beginning, and then uh, at the end, which is called trailer. Okay, so that's the header. And then uh, if you see, uh, yeah, there is a big overhead uh, for encapsulation. So what you are sending is here, hello, but actually you end up sending these things, okay, which is larger than what you what you you send in, the, in your application, for example, on your WhatsApp. Okay, you have a WhatsApp or uh, you have a chat message. Okay, you just say hi, but actually that it's not enough for uh, delivering that hi. To the destination, so you you need to add more data uh, of, on uh, in the front of it. Okay, so that's the encapsulation process, and then as you can see, it's a big overhead. Maybe uh, thirty percent of uh, internet traffic is just header. Okay, <laughs> thirty to twenty percent uh, traffic is just a header. Okay, so and then we move on to the. Uh, the difference, understand the uh, network devices uh, like a hub. Hub is layer one. Uh, so when uh, somebody send, and then it will be uh, forwarded to other ports. Uh, switch is much more intelligent. So if you send one to the one port, and then it will uh, forward it to particular ports, so not all ports. And then hub is layer one, switch is layer two. 
Okay, uh, router is layer three. Why? Because it's uh, it connects to a layer two segment. This is layer two. This is layer two. Okay. So uh, we connect layer two, including the internet. Internet is also lots of uh, networks, and then we connect to them. So that's the router. Router is layer three. So working on uh, a layer three information. And then we have another firewall here. Usually firewall is used um, either at the end devices. Uh, okay, this is end devices, okay, <clears throat> at the host. Uh, the purpose for firewall is to filter or inspect a traffic between networks. So we have a segment here and then another segment is called one. One means the internet, okay. So we have a traffic that is coming back and forth between one and LAN, okay. So that's the purpose for firewall. So the firewall can be thought as a as a, a router, yes, yes, yes. So router is working based on layer three. So firewall is also the same. Guys, uh, if you have questions and then you can type on the group chat, okay. Uh, yeah, just, just type something there. To, so yeah, and then I will discuss it uh, after the, uh, on the slides or after the slides, okay. So that's uh, that's the uh, uh, network devices that we need to know. Okay, hub switches, uh, routers, firewall, and then of course we have a regular expression. Okay, so by the way, I have a question here. Uh, uh, is it same between router and firewall? Yes, the firewall and then the router can be in the same same hardware. Okay, but uh, there is a there is a, another router that is uh, a dedicated router uh, that is doing the, especially for inspection. So router and firewall can be in the same router, uh, same device or different device. Okay, so hopefully that answers the questions. Yeah, guys, uh, Rahmat from Indonesia. Okay, so yeah, that's the difference. And then uh, here's the regex, okay? So because in layer seven, we, on layer seven microtic, uh, it really depends on the uh, regular expression or regex. Yeah, so uh, we have a several regex code here, for example, uh, a question mark uh, uh, repeats it, which means that repeats the previous characters. Okay, so we have uh, asterisk. Uh, so it means that uh, repetition of zero or many characters. So we have plus here, uh, uh, the repetition of uh, one character or a more. Okay, so minimum is one. Uh, so that's the difference between uh, asterisk and plus. Okay, so that's, this is the things that uh, many network administration, uh, many administrator do not, uh, understand they just uh, I mean uh, they just uh, just copy and paste the script from the website right so I don't know which website <laughs> you just google it and then oh okay I just copy and paste uh, what what this kind of uh, uh, stuff here uh, and I don't know so uh, here uh, is the called carrot okay uh, it match it says that okay it should start from this. Okay, so it says that matches the beginning of the string. And then here is the beginning of the end of the string. So the knowledge of regex is, 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 is very crucial to understand how the layer seven works. Okay, so let's go to microtic firewall. So, okay, so a big question here. On which layer does the traditional firewall works? Well, all firewall inspect uh, traffic between segments. So as, as we discussed before, okay. So this is a firewall, okay, firewall. And then we have traffic between segment. So the firewall are doing something in between, okay. It's checking the traffic between segments. So it means that the, trifo the, 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 the firewall works on uh, layer three. Okay, because it, it connects um, uh, two segments. Okay, yeah, yeah, so layer three. 
some firewall also support tracking. Okay, so it means it tracks the, for example, the TCP and UDP, okay, the connection, connectivity. So it means that they are supporting stuff on layer four, for example, ports, um, uh, the connection, the bytes, yeah, uh, those are layer four, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, some firewall, uh, for example, this is one segment, uh, usually uh, connected with the switch, okay? And then you have a router here, and then another segment, switch, right? And then the between switch connected by routers, and then you have a hose here, okay? Connected to those switch. So uh, this is one segment, segment number one, this is segment number two, right? Uh, inside the segment itself, uh, a firewall can do um, uh, a filtering as well, <clears throat> can do inspections. So it means that uh, firewall can support layer two, yeah? So if you see, yeah, uh, Microtik can support it. And then, yeah, uh, yeah, th those are the layers that the uh, traditional firewall works on. Okay, so they are working on by inspecting the network header. So we have a network header of TCP, UDP, we have a network header of, uh, we have a header of IP. Okay, on a network layer, we have, uh, yeah, uh, other stuff. So most likely they are working on layer four, layer three, and layer two. Okay. Um, yeah, so very rare uh, people, uh, the firewall works on here, on uh, 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 layer seven, which is the application layer. Okay. Okay, so about the firewall from Microtik. So if you open the Microtik and then you go to IP firewall, you will see this tab here, a tab of filter, tab not, and then tab mangal, and then a new, actually it's not new. Uh, it's a, an, a, a, an, we call it additional, um, additional extension, not addition. Yeah, perhaps uh, it's that, that is called row, okay? so. The purpose for row is uh, similar to filter, but uh, they are working in different different way. So uh, far, again, back to the topic here, uh, the Microtik, uh, the purpose for Microtik firewall is to control network access. Uh, okay, it's like uh, you drop, you accept, yeah, that's, that's the filter, okay. Uh, yeah, so you have, you have two segments here, Okay, segment number one, segment number two, and this is your router, okay. And then uh, the access uh, access control from uh, network number one to network number two, okay, is controlled by uh, this router here in the middle. Uh, and then uh, if you want to do that, and then you will use a firewall filter. Uh, next is NAT. NAT is for a uh, modified network header. So changing the source IP address or changing the destination IP address. Yeah, uh, it's called NAT, Network Address Translation. Okay, so usually we use NAT from the private, private network to public. Okay, yeah, so from private to public, okay, uh, it's called NAT. And then uh, we have a mangle. <clears throat> a mangle is for marking, okay, marking a packet, okay, for further processing. So if you do marking, if you do, uh, we we have, we have uh, routing, we have connection marking, okay, we have packet marking, okay. So after you do marking, and then nothing happen, okay. <laughs> Uh, nothing happened on marking. So marking is used for marking, just marking. Uh, there is no packet that is uh, delete, uh, drop or accept or uh, tarp it or whatever. <clears throat> uh, there is just mark, okay. Uh, it's developed from Linux, uh, Linux firewall. 
uh, concept uh, consists of two parts, yeah, which is matchers and actions, and then is executed sequentially. So in order to understand the firewall, um, network admin must understand the application characteristic, okay, to build the matchers. Okay, for example, I want to, I don't want everybody do browsing. So you have to translate the term browsing into something technical. So browsing means uh, means using HTTP, okay? HTTP means use, uh, meaning it's using uh, TCP, and then the destination port will be 80, okay? But now, but now, browsing is not only HTTP, right? Now they have HTTPS. So this one is port 80, this one is port 443. So both of them are TCP. This is traditional HTTP, but now, now um, the <laughs> vendor makes us hard to to do our to do our job, you know. Uh, and then in the future, uh, like uh, we call the protocol called Quick. Okay, so not not Quick uh, without K, I think. Yeah. So this one is using UDP, you know, UDP. So port. 80 port 443, but they are using UDP. Ah, uh, now it's 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 so now browsing browsing is translated into TCP or UDP with the port of 80 or 443. Okay, I need to change. I need to update the slides. Okay, <laughs> so browsing uh, it's a new definition of browsing. This is the old definition of browsing which is TCP port 80. Now everything is uh, HTTPS, everything is uh, encrypted, and then it's, it, it is very hard for us to, to, do, uh, to do our job, man. <laughs> okay, let's discuss later. So this is how the uh, action and uh, matches looks like. So the three types here is the matchers, and then here's the action, okay? So we have lots of uh, criteria for matchers, like a, a change. Uh, change is where we put the where we put the <coughs> rules. Uh, source address, destination address, the protocol. See, uh, so, uh, source port, destination port, any port. So this is quite uh, good. Okay. So if you just want to say, I want to block port 80 either on a destination port or source port, you can put here any port. Uh, I don't think this is available. Uh, this is from very old, uh, not very old, few years ago. Uh, yeah, in the beginning of uh, router OS version six. Yeah, we have an option for peer-to-peer. -peer, okay, we have input interface, output interface. There is an interface uh, list here, okay, which is good. Uh, we have a packet mark, connection mark, routing mark, routing tables, and then connection state. Uh, for advanced, uh, there will be more and more uh, matches for for uh, for firewall. So this is the uh, uh, this is the matchers, and then after that we define the actions. Either we accept them, uh, we put them into address list, we drop them. You do fast track, jump, lock, pass through, reject, blah blah blah. So we don't talk about this much. Uh, we assume you you already know this. Okay. Uh, in the, our training, we will discuss more about this. Uh, oh, okay, I got a question here. Uh, when we use uh, filter or not and then row, okay, on which condition we use uh, these things, okay? Yeah, so when we use filter, not and mangle and row, I think we have discussed it before. Okay, filter is for uh, controlling network access. NAT is for NAT. Marking, uh, mangle is for marking. And row is uh, is when we want to uh, filter uh, with the uh, uh, lowest consumption of CPU power. So the purpose for row is to do filter with the lowest CPU power. Okay, because uh, when we do filter, we will uh, use we will use uh, uh, some of CPU power to do the filter. Okay. 
Okay, hopefully that answer the questions. Uh, yes, uh, who is it? Uh, Faisal, okay, here. Yeah. Now, uh, okay, so where the packet is processed, so it means that uh, we need to understand the package flow. Uh, this is the previous, uh, uh, it's a previous diagram of a packet flow from the Mikrotik. Okay, so uh, this is a very simple diagram uh, in the higher level. Okay, so packets coming from here. Okay, and then uh, they are going to process. Okay, and then packets coming out there. Okay, so that's the process. And then if you zoom, this pre-routing is going to be like this. And then here's the process. Uh, if you do input and, and you zoom, and this is the process, and then so as the forward output and post routing. Okay, so those are the processes on firewall. And then uh, most likely people are confused uh, between forward and input. Input if you want to access the router itself. Yes, for example, if you ping the router and then you will be using this input uh, chain, we call it chain. So if you ping the router and then most likely uh, input and output is, uh, uh, is the chain that will be used, okay? So if you want to protect your router, so most likely you will be playing here, okay? So because uh, you want to protect your router, right? Uh, so somebody send something to your router directly. So uh, you need to put a rule on input or output. If you want to protect the network, yeah, because the packet is just passing through the router, so uh, you will be using uh, forward here. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's the difference between forward and input. So forward is uh, uh, is inspecting uh, between segments. So the packet is just passing through the routers while the input and output is for the packet that goes to the router directly. Oops, I cannot move here. Yes. Now let's talk about layer seven. Yay, our topic tonight. Yes, 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 yes. So previously we already know that the traditional firewall only works on on layer four, layer three, layer two, right? So what about this? So I want to check uh, whether this is DNS or this is FTP or NFS or whatever. Okay, so if I want to, because it's not enough, okay? Uh, I want to block, I want to block browsing. Okay, if you block browsing and then everybody will complain, yes? <laughs> I want to block this website, but not that website. So that, that kind of criteria cannot be done here. Okay, it cannot be done in layer four, layer three, layer two. No, 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 no. So you have to take specific action from HTTPS which is on layer seven. So that's why, so that's why for that requirement, uh, we need to use layer seven. Okay. Okay, so keep on, yeah, going, yes. So layer seven firewall is a method for searching patterns in ICMP, TCP, UDP. So again, layer seven works on these protocols only. Oh, what about if the if the user is using VPN, no, you cannot. <laughs> Why? Because VPN is using encrypted traffic. Okay. How can I check the encrypted traffic? It's already encrypted. What 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 things that I can see there? Okay. Okay. So, okay. So again, layer seven works on this uh, protocol, and then it assumes that no encryption, okay, layer of seven uh, and no encryption, okay. But most of the traffic now is encrypted. It means that you cannot use layer seven. I mean, you can use, but it's useless, okay. You just, uh, you're just burning out your CPU. <laughs> yeah, very funny for me at least. Yeah, but, uh, why do you tell us the layer seven feature? Well, for some traffic, unencrypted traffic, uh, some of them works. 
yeah so not even though not all that cannot be implemented in all traffic but some cases yeah it can can be in keeping can be used for doing the job all right so let's discuss this layer seven okay so again uh, only works on icmp tcp udp uh, it's used as matchers okay so layer seven is just matchers so the way it works is collects the first 10 packets okay of the of a connection or or the first two kilobyte if it is if it is uh, uh it's too small okay so again this is how how they they check how how do they do that uh, because uh um, Microtik knows uh, has a uh, has ability for connection tracking. They know that oh okay so uh, when you when you do TCP uh, you have a three way handshake right three way handshake okay ah okay so the router knows oh okay so this guy is doing three way handshake so it means that you will start TCP okay I will check the uh, after the handshake is done and then I will take the first ten packets of a connection okay so for example this is host and then this is the server okay and then this is your router okay it goes to here so okay this uh, three-way handshake is done and then i will send i will send packets here okay oh sorry um yeah, perhaps we remove all of them. Okay, so this is host, this is server, this is router. Okay, okay. So three-way handshake is done. Okay, so I will send packets to here, and then this one reply, and then I send again packets and send again, and so on and so forth ten times. Okay, so ten packets will be captured, and then. Uh, bring to the firewall for inspection okay and then check if our 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 match uh, is uh, uh, our our uh, layer 7 rules is matching with the patterns on these 10 10 packets okay yeah so if the pattern is not found and then yeah and then nothing nothing happened okay so layer seven because it takes it first it's it will uh, it will do the uh, layer what is it uh, it will do the, the the connection tracking so i have to track your connection okay i have to track your connection and then after the connection is tracking i will take the first 10 packets of the connection <coughs> okay so because of that uh, the layer seven firewall requires CPU intensive, okay? Yeah, because it has to be processed very fast, right? Okay, uh, ten packets is very fast, man. Less than one second. Uh, can you imagine if you send thousand of packets per second, right? And then in every every connection, uh, I have to take uh, ten packets, or the first two kilobytes, right? So that's why uh, if it is uh, is very, very uh, is, uh, for the very high traffic, I don't recommend you to do that. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, uh, it doesn't guarantee it's all at work. Okay. Because again, the pattern on every application is not always the same. Okay. Sometimes they change the pattern and then, uh, yeah, you, you will get nothing. Okay, that's how this layer seven works. Okay. Okay, so as I mentioned before, yeah, <laughs> yeah, in the beginning of, uh, not in the beginning, uh, since many, several years ago, Microtix dropped the support, okay? So this is one example of how the layer two, uh, layer seven 
recognition, uh, in RARE 7 inspection is done. Yeah, so it means that it can uh, recognize the the, 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 the the torrent file, okay, the, the torrent uh, traffic, yeah. So uh, in the beginning, they can, uh, yeah, uh, Microtech is able to identify this peer-to-peer, uh, -peer. but, but, uh, now peer-to-peer -peer is now encrypted, right? So <laughs> it's, use, it's useless to do uh, the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, feature here. So Microtech just remove it. Okay, so yeah, peer-to-peer uh, -peer mature is obsolete. So because please use uh, layer seven mature instead. Okay, let's move on. Uh, Okay, why I cannot move the next slide? Oops. Ah, no, no, it's okay. Oh, I got a question here. Uh, can you receive the full videos? Yes. Also the slides? Yes, yes. So we will upload the videos and uh, uh, slides on our website. Right. Okay, so this is one example. Okay, so this is, uh, you, you have to start the layer seven protocols here. And then, as I said, regex, yeah, regular expression. So it means that it will start to this, with this. Actually, this is not dot, okay? Uh, if you see uh, in the details, if you dump, and then there will be uh, uh, a hexadecimal code for that, okay. And then uh, if you see the, yeah. If you check the website here, uh, the one that I give you, there are some, some layer seven protocols available, see here. Okay, I'm not sure if the sling is still available or not, but you can try. Okay, yeah. So here's the step to do the layer seven protocols. So for example, we want to check Skype to Skype uh, connectivity and then here's the pattern okay so Skype to Skype is this and then the pattern is this so as you can see uh, yeah again we need to understand how the Skype works okay and then make sure that the Skype connectivity is 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 not encrypted <laughs> otherwise uh, we have difficulties with them. I don't know, is Skype still available or not? Because uh, it's been bought by Microsoft, right? I don't know if they still keep uh, Skype there or not. So this pattern is created in 2008 by uh, this uh, uh, gentleman. And this, okay, for checking the uh, uh, Skype to Skype. So this gentleman already uh, checking whether uh, if uh, there is a traffic that contains this pattern here, okay? So it will start with this. So it, it says that uh, one of the pattern is uh, start, so the, the carrot here. So there is, a, there, is a, there is a character here, carrot, right? Yeah, carrot like this. So it means that the packets will start Okay, in this pattern, so dot, dot, and then x is zero, two, and then dot, 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 up to uh, this long, okay. Okay, so require at least 16 bytes. Yeah, yeah, so other, for example, is this, uh, for example, Half-Life, Battlefield, looks like they are game. Uh, soul seek SSL, so on and so forth. Okay, so you can check their their uh, their pattern. Okay. okay, so as you can see, it start with this, 
and then here's the pattern. How, how do I know the pattern? Well, you need to very good at protocol analyzer. So you, you go to you go to Wireshark and then uh, analyze the you know the analyze the traffic uh, between uh, two uh, hosts okay, from host to the server and then you check what is the pattern there and then you create your own layer 7 pattern okay yeah so yeah if uh, but i don't know anything about the protocol analyzer well you just pray and then uh, 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 perhaps uh, you can use a pattern that was created by other persons and then uh, pray and hopefully it works <laughs> again uh, it, it it's uh, this pattern here uh, it depends on the application and then uh, application is always keep changing and then it's not always guarantee that uh, the, the patterns will always work sometimes because the application creator uh, never expose their pattern to you guys, right? Yeah, so you just uh, figuring out, okay, maybe this one works, maybe that one not works. Okay. Right, so yeah, that's the example implementation. So you create the layer seven here and then and then uh, here, um, for example, Skype to Skype, you put it in the, uh, as you can see, this is, uh, this is, I, I, I use a mangle here. So you see mangle. Okay. Uh, put mangles on matcher. So this is matchers, right? And then this is the action. Okay, so layer seven protocols is part of the matchers and then for the action okay i choose uh, so it's up to it's up to me so i can i can choose to uh, drop if i if it is filter uh, or whatever okay but for mangle uh, usually i put here in the uh, source address list okay and then the address list is the skype ip address that is how it works and for tips and tricks, again, um, yeah, if you want to apply the layer seven, uh, better to apply it in forward chain. So yeah, so that uh, layer seven must see both directions, okay, for incoming and outgoing, okay, inbound and outbound. So better in the forward chain. Uh, combined with address list, okay. So, yeah, if you want to drop something, so better if you put the IP address that is uh, captured by the layer seven, and then based on this IP address, uh, you do uh, further processing. For example, uh, you drop them or you do other stuff, okay. Uh, you uh, decrease the, uh, speed and then uh, stuff like that okay so this is to reduce the cpu load uh, this is an example of uh, microtik layer 7 protocol rules okay so uh, next is understand pattern in protocol so this one is using wire shark so for example, I want to understand the pattern of Mobile Legends. Mobile Legends is one of the game, right? That, uh, uh, yeah, you want, you want to know I, uh, the IP address of Mobile Legends servers, for example. Well, for that one, um, yeah, you need to understand the, is this traffic for Mobile Legends or not? Because if they just use uh, HTTP protocol, for example, HTTP protocol is the same, right? Uh, most likely, those game provider is using their own, their own algorithm, their own protocols, which is different than what we have uh, in general. Okay, so again, uh, you need to go into the Wireshark, and then check the pattern. 
And of course, understand the regex, okay? Regular expression. So you can check uh, regex one, regex r, regex 101, buildregex.com. So here uh, is, are the um, website to understand regex uh, uh, more, okay? Uh, next, don't use L7, layer seven firewall on high traffic. Okay, so if you have 500 Mbps, uh, I don't recommend you to activate the layer seven. Okay, it's just giving you the the uh, yeah, high CPU. Look, if you if the the CPU is high, uh, so here's this is the problem. Okay, if the CPU is high, okay, uh, if the CPU Okay, uh, so you know, you know, when we when we send when we send a when we send packets, if the packet is is big, and then uh, we put in the sequence, right? Uh, we put the sequence, a uh, packet number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Okay, this is the packets. Okay, the packet goes into the router, and then the router process, and then uh, the output will be same, right? number one, number two, number three, four, number five, okay? If the CPU is very high, okay, up to 70%, 80%, maybe 60%, and then in some cases, uh, the uh, there will be a delay on this packets processing, okay? So instead of one, two, three, four, five, it can be done like five, two, one, three, four, for example. Yeah. So if the packet order is, is, is juggled like this, and then when it's received to destination, okay, it will, uh, it will give a problem to the destination. Okay. If it is VoIP, okay, and then <laughs> we just lost the conversation. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's the the dangerous of high CPU. Okay, so I've done this. Uh, I've seen this many times. Okay, uh, you said that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some people say that. Okay, Microtik is is cheap, but uh, is a good performance. Yes, very good. So it means that I can buy the cheapest cheapest uh, router and then put them into my uh, ISP as a core router, and then the traffic is. Uh, 500 uh, Mbps. <laughs> oh, you must be kidding. Okay. So again, no, no, it's not. Okay, because uh, cheapest uh, cheap product is for uh, for low traffic. Okay, for low usage. Uh, uh, more expensive products uh, has more power, uh, so that they can deliver more uh, data rate. Okay, so I think uh, that's all. Um, yeah, perhaps I can do some demo here uh, into my own routers. So let's see. So hopefully I don't burn my own traffic. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I cannot move the this one here. Okay, oh, I have to click the button. Okay, so here it is. Uh, let me share. Okay, so now it's a live practice. Yeah, again, if you are interested, and then please, uh, please do the layer seven firewall. Uh, Please do, uh, please come to our training, sorry. <laughs> sorry for that. And then uh, here are some uh, uh, message from our, from admin. Okay, so thank you for attention. The feedback will be here. Okay, I'll post it on the group chat. Okay, I, I just uh, read this. Uh, uh, before I forgot. Okay, so submit your feedback here, please. 
Uh, you can mention uh, topics in the future that will be discussed. Uh, website is here. Uh, Facebook page is here. A slide will be sh will be uploaded on SlideShare recording in our own channel. And then uh, you can check our uh, website uh, for schedules. Okay, so let me share the whole screen. Okay, so this is my uh, router. I'm using Macrotic version 7, uh, still beta, but hopefully, hopefully it works. Okay, so this is layer 7 protocols. Uh, and then, oh, okay, so I already have a YouTube, uh, YouTube formula here. Okay, so this is YouTube. Yeah, so let's, let's, let's understand the pattern. So we start here, start from dot and plus. So dot means any character, plus means any character of dot. So dot means any characters, any characters, and then plus means, plus means the repetition of the previous character. So it can be one or many. Okay. So before www, that can be many characters in front of it. Okay www.youtube.com or uh, googlevideo.com or u.u2.b, okay? And then close, and then we have another dot here, and then we have asterisk. So dot means any, any characters, and then asterisk means explain how many characters is repeated. And then here's the uh, closing, okay. Yeah, so as simple as that. Okay, let's do that uh, on, oh, I have, I have already, uh, I already have some, Fast track here. Okay, let's create a new one. So pre-routing. Oh. Okay, my CPU is 10% now. So forward to TCP, for example. Uh, any port is 80 or 443. Okay. And then uh, layer seven protocol is YouTube, okay. And then I want to check at the address list, for example, YouTube address list. All right. So where's the, where is it? Oh, okay, here it is. Yeah, let's put it on the top. Is it working? Let's say we put here, Oh, dynamic. Well, it looks like it's not working. Hmm. Okay, let me add another one. Uh, because I'm using beta version, so maybe, maybe it's not working. So I just copy this to others and then close it and then let's say do the action accept for example and then i will enable and then see see it works yeah yes so as you can see uh yeah the matcher here is working for what tcp 8443 okay i i put here as empty on an advanced tab, extra tabs also empty, and then the action is accept. And then I can see traffic, some traffic is already captured here. Okay, so it means that the matcher works. Yeah, just disable that. And then, uh, so instead of address list, I put here accept. So I do the same, forward, TCP, 
80 and uh, 44 or 443. Uh, but on uh, layer seven, I have YouTube. Okay, let's see that. Okay, enabled. And then, oh, okay, so let's open a website. Where is it? Oops. File, new window. Yeah, okay, here it is. Oh, it works. Yes, yes, it works. Oh, so it means that I have to open the uh, website. Okay, www.youtube.com. Yes, it works. Okay, so I can put here in accept. So now I can use address list. Yes, so an address list I can see here, YouTube. Yes, this is YouTube IP address. Okay. So this is the destination IP address, right? Okay, so for this, this explains the IP address, the, 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 the IP address of YouTube. Okay, now I change it to source address. So it means that IP address, uh, host accessing YouTube, right? So same, and then, uh, Let's open a new a new uh, website again. YouTube.com. Let's see that. Yeah. Okay. So both of them are are working here. Okay. So that's good. So it means that the the pattern here is is working. And then let's see. The host accessing YouTube is. This okay, so as you can see, it's supposed to it's supposed to check my my address okay, but here because it's two two ways okay, so it's checking the pattern, yeah, checking the pattern whether it's uh, accessing YouTube or not. So if the pattern match, and then uh, and then we can we can see we can see it here. Okay, so let's let's delete. Okay, and delete them as well. Oops, sorry. Okay, delete. So all of them are empty. Yes, it's empty. And then. Let's do something like um, I'm doing a, a DNS, okay, a DNS uh, resolve. So I will close this one. Yeah, so, um, yeah, yeah, so that, that's okay. So I was thinking that. Uh, yeah, you, ha you have to be more specific here that uh, you'll be listening on browsing traffic, okay? Either it's uh, on for TCP, TCP and UDP, or TCP only, yeah. TCP port 80 or four three. If you don't, if you don't, and then uh, as you can see, uh, my traffic is uh, higher now. Uh, now, it's, uh, uh, now it's 20%, 22% depends on the traffic, okay? Yeah, traffic on uh, uh, browsing, okay? So if I do lots of browsing and then, uh, yeah, I'll be in trouble, okay? All right, so I think that's all, guys. Uh, thank you very much for uh, coming. Any other questions?
If not, then I think it's time to say goodbye. And then, uh, yeah, please submit your feedback for those who are from Indonesia. So we would like you to participate in our research. Okay. Uh, okay, let me. Uh, let me share the URL. Oh, okay, here it is. Uh, it's written in uh, in Indonesian, but I will share them here. Okay, any any more questions? No. So, be part of our research. Okay, so. Yeah, this is for Indonesian only. Uh, we we have we are doing research with uh, New Zealand. Uh, I mean, uh, Auckland University from New Zealand. Uh, so yeah, if you don't mind, uh, please please be part of uh, our research. Right. <clears throat> okay, I have a question here. I want to block a specific YouTube. Okay, I want to block specific YouTube, but uh, have used VPN. Can we block? No, <laughs> sorry, uh, it will disappoint you. So I think uh, in the future now, uh, people say that uh, uh, firewall now is called the uh, NG firewall, next generation firewalls. What's that mean? So it means that uh, the, 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 the layers that is checked by the firewall is not only layer two, three, and four, but uh, up to layer seven. So it means that they are doing DPI, deep packet inspection. So for MicroTIC, they just do, uh, the, uh, they just do infection uh, for uh, the, first, the first 10 packets, okay? But for those kind of firewall, they can inspect uh, all of them for the whole traffic, okay? Yeah, so yeah, the, the, the price will be expensive as well, okay? But, uh, uh, yeah, perhaps it works. They can they can claim to check many applications. They can they can uh, they can recognize uh, gaming traffic. They can recognize uh, YouTube traffic. They can recognize uh, Facebook traffic and so on and so forth. So perhaps you can try that. Right, guys. So uh, it's time for it is time for um, for for uh, photo session. Okay. So please uh, turn on your camera and then uh, we'll take a photo session here. So let me share the gallery. Yeah. Okay, everyone smiles. Yeah, and then thumbs up. Okay, I will count one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Great. <laughs> okay, the next page. Okay, guys. Smile, guys. One, two, three. Okay, I already captured all of you. Thank you very much again. So this is end of the session. So hopefully you enjoyed. Oh, okay, so it's already 2047. Okay, we already late now. Uh, my camera is broken. Oh, okay, unfortunately. Sorry for that. Uh, okay. Okay, I, I got uh, some some messages here. Uh, clients use VPN. No, you cannot. Where do you upload this video on YouTube? Do you have video for beginners? Yes. Uh, yeah, just uh, Google on YouTube. Uh, question is when I block the YouTube, then the client use VPN. Can we block VPN also? Again, if you recognize the VPN, uh, and then yes, uh, you can. Yeah, so for example, PP, PPTP is using TCP port. I forgot the port. Uh, and then SSTP is using that kind of port and so on and so forth. But some some VPNs, they are, they are very clever. Uh, they are using also port 443, which is HTTPS. When, when you block it and then everyone will complain. <laughs> yeah, sorry, uh, sorry for that. Uh, it's... Uh, Perhaps it's, uh, 
another good news for you guys. <laughs> okay, so this is again, uh, we already uh, uh, out of time now. Uh, I, I need to stop and then uh, please, please, please uh, submit your feedback. Okay, I will put the URL again here. Feedback on the group chat. So hopefully you can fill that in. Feedback. Yes. Right. So again, thank you very much. And then see you in the future. Okay. Goodbye.